Greetings, pawns of the seven gods, and welcome to Got Cap, the Game of Thrones recap show with the derailed James. Hello. Derailed Aaron. Hello. <laughs> uh, and we're going to talk about the season one, or episode one, season, season seven, yep. Game of Thrones uh, episode. We're going to recap the whole show, oh. talk about it with you. Uh, hopefully you leave comments, you like us, you subscribe to us, uh, support all the derailed shows on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash derailed to support all our channel and our shows. Uh, so... Let's get on with it, actually. Let's I want to just it. talk about it. So, uh, how opening. did it start? Opening. How did it start? The fucking opening was insane. Insane. I fucking love this shit out of it. Because they, they just pick it up. They pick it up from how it ended mm-hmm. last season. And twist it a little bit, so you're mm-hmm. kind of confused. Yep. And then it's like, oh, I know it's going to happen. Yeah. It was like the reverse wed- wed- Red Wedding. Yep. That was the fucking best. Yep. God, that was such a good opening. I did not get it until the end, which was cool. Oh, really? I was confused. I was like, is this happening before, obviously, because yeah. she killed him, you know? I did for a minute, and then when he stood up and he started talking about if you leave <laughs> one wolf, mm-hmm. the rest of the sheep are still in danger. Yeah, I was like, what is it? Yeah, that? and then I was like, oh, and I looked at Vince, and he was like, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so good. Poisoned. So good. And then she takes the face off. Yep. Oh my god. So basically she's gonna go to King's Landing and pretend to be Jamie Lannister. Yeah, or something. And something then like kill that. Kill Cersei or something. Yeah. Right. Because she's gotta be somebody close to the queen. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, very strong opening. Normal length episode. It was yeah. Like 50, 59 minutes, I think. Yeah. Um because they started like five minutes late. Did they really? Yeah, because of the recap. Oh, the recap gotcha. kicked in right at nine. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, so then we had Cersei, uh, who's getting a map painted. Was that the next thing? Uh, no. The next thing was. I'm trying to think. Was it the mount? Was it the hound? I don't remember what the next... I thought it was seriously painting the map, so that's, was that's it? what I thought. It could be, yeah. Um, so she's talking to Jamie about how uh, she's inviting uh, people to to help them out now, to mm-hmm. have allies and everything. So uh, she invites the Greyjoys over. She also like really doesn't care that her kids are dead. Yeah. Uh, which is like... Like, she's cold-hearted. Yeah. Like, she's... I mean, obviously. But I mean, like... In a in a weirder way than normal, like she's losing her shit. Oh yeah, like she's really really. She was like, care. yeah, with that statement, I love my children, but they're ash now. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> we have to like worry about yeah. the Lannisters that are alive. And she's like, enemies to the north, enemies to the mm-hmm. south, east, west. Yeah. And Jamie's like still trying to be the voice of reason. Yep, yep. And he's just like, you have to admit that we're fucked a little bit. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Uh, she, so she talks to the guy, the Greyjoy guy, uh, the brother or whatever, the, the uncle. You're on. Yep. Yeah. And turns him down. Yep. He, which is weird because she invited him. She didn't know about his proposal though. She just invited him to come and like fight for them. Well, no, cause she walked away and she's like, he came here for a queen. Oh yeah, that's true. She okay. totally knew. That's why it was weird that oh, yeah. she turned him down. Huh. She, so she's like playing everybody. Because she made Jamie think that she was just going to say yes, like yeah. she wanted it to happen. Yeah. And then with, she said the exact same things that Jamie said to her right. to him. So like... And with Jamie standing there, I feel like she... I think maybe she changed her mind at the last minute. Maybe. Like she's... She, because when he mentioned like killing your brother, you should try it sometime. Mm-hmm. Well, that whole thing was funny because Jamie is like looking at her and like, yeah. gonna, don't, what, you're giving her ideas. <laughs> but then at the same time, he's probably like, she probably already has those ideas. Yeah. And like his mind is just like racing, yeah. watching them talk. I'm like, oh crap, she's going to fucking start fucking this guy. And then oh, she turns God. him down and he's like, what? I'm so confused. Oh, now she's going to kill me? Oh, she probably already was going to kill me. Maybe I have to kill her. Maybe I have to kill him. <laughs> okay, he's going to leave. Like that was a whole, Jamie was like losing his shit there. The prophecy, you know what her prophecy was? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Where the, yeah. all her children were going to die, mm-hmm. and then she was going to be betrayed by the littlest brother. The youngest brother. The yeah. youngest brother, and they yeah. all think it's uh, 
they all think it's Tyrion. Yeah. But v- Vince is like, I bet you it's Jamie. Well, yeah, because he's a couple seconds yeah. younger. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't say the youngest brother. It says, like, a young sibling or, like, yeah. the young sibling. Right. So you assume it is, but she is uh, the oldest yep. uh, by, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, and she's so hell-bent on hating Tyrion that, like, I feel like Jamie will blindside her. Yeah. Because I feel like there's going to be this pivotal moment where it's going to be Jamie versus Tyrion at mm-hmm. some point. You know, like, they'll infiltrate King's Landing. Yep. They'll get into a battle, and then it's going to be, like, a conscience thing. Mm-hmm. Like, is he going to kill Tyrion, who's been shit on his whole life, mm-hmm. or is he going to kill the person who he knows is a manipulative bitch? Yeah. You know what I mean? And push the little kid off a balcony. You know what I mean? Sure. And that's when he was a dickhead, too. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember what happened after the opening scene. We saw the White Walkers. Oh, that's and right. They have a giant. They have a couple giants. That's right. Um, and that's what the Hound sees in the fire later on. Yeah. Uh, which was cool. I thought we were going to see something in the fire, though, because yeah. I've always wanted to, but I don't know how they would make that work. Yeah, sure. But it was cool. I kind of didn't know if he was fucking with him at, at first. I thought they were going to try to kill him at one point. Yeah, like shove him in the fire. Yeah. You, always, you always wonder that when it's him around fire. It's like, yeah. oh, shit, someone's going to fuck him up. That's why he's like, I don't want to look into the fire. Yeah, things. exactly. <laughs> um, let's see. Arya talks to Ed Sheeran. Uh-huh. Which, if you're going to plump up these episodes for, like, like, what did that scene even do? Nothing. It didn't do anything. No. It was just like, we have to make a scene for Ed Sheeran. Uh, what I liked, so the Ed Sheeran thing aside, what I liked about that scene was that it still showed that Arya has a heart because she was looking at their weapons. Yeah. Like, you know that she wanted to rob them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To help her get to King's Landing better. And then after sitting around and talking to them and realizing that there's still people she can trust... You know what I mean? I think it was a little bit of a character thing for her because you have Arya who's just hell-bent on revenge now. Right. And she went through the whole trials and everything. Mm -hmm. She betrayed the teacher by not listening to him, killed the understudy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then she's going off on this tangent, killed the phrase, all of the phrase. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like maybe that was a scene. I interpreted it as a scene to kind of build a little bit more, a little bit of like a caring thing, like a caring aspect back into her. Like, she still believes that there's good people. And not everybody's out to, like, betray her and all that stuff. Yeah, but we don't have a purpose for that yet. So hopefully they, like, yeah. that pays off. Yeah. Because that's, like, not really her path right now. Yeah. And, like, that doesn't really do anything for me. Like, I I want her to get revenge, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't really want her to, like, see good in people right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it must pay off later, I guess. I wonder who I mean, wrote the, this episode. The only reason that that would pay off is if she has to, like, go up against one of her siblings and then she remembers that, like, some people are good or whatever. Right. Like, she doesn't need to remember that some people are good to still go kill Cersei, to still go kill everyone she needs to kill, you know? So, like, if that's what they were going for, uh, then I'm not sure why they were going there. Yeah. But it's also the first episode, so. Yeah, I mean, that's just how I interpreted it. Right. Uh, so, yeah, seriously turns on the Greyjoy guy. Uh, and then we, I think we jump to the Hound. Uh, and he's... With the guy who keeps coming back to life. Yeah. Uh, Beric Dondarrion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we go back to the house that he looted, uh, earlier, uh, in last season, I think. Or maybe, yeah, I think it was last season. Yeah, I think it was last season, too. Uh, and they're dead, and so he buries them and so like that was a very yeah that was like a huge he is his whole character development Mm -hmm. has been am i bad or good right and he just fucking goes back and forth all the time he does something bad and then he has to like yeah repent or whatever or somebody fucks him yeah you know what i mean and then he gets goes crazy for a little bit but then he met up with those those band of people Mm -hmm. the last time um, and then they got murdered, and then he went on a fucking rampage yep. and killed everybody that murdered all those innocent people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, we also had at the beginning the badass young girl sticking up for herself. Oh, that's like right. she'll go the fight John or Snow whatever. Uh, she, you know, Jon Snow's rounding everyone up. Uh, basically, like everybody needs to fight. Everyone needs to go find Dragonstone. Mm-hmm. Or not Dragonstone. Uh, 
What's it called? What? Obsi- dragon the glass. dragon glass. Yeah. The obsidian. Yeah, the dragon mm-hmm. glass. Uh, and then, so the Samwell stuff was probably my favorite thing from the whole season, uh, or from the whole uh, episode, is uh, him at the library, mm-hmm. picking up people's shit and yeah. throwing up <laughs> and then eating couldn't eat, <laughs> uh, and then finding that book with uh, the uh, dragon glass on Dragonstone mm-hmm. and having to tell. And then uh, seeing Jorah, that was pretty badass. Yeah. Or like a shadow of Jorah. That was really cool. Well, you saw his arm at least. You yeah. knew it was him because of the fucking stone shit. Yeah. The so, my big prediction for the end of the series is that she or he meets up with Daenerys again, mm-hmm. and she weaponizes uh, the grayscale stuff, and she uses it as, a, like, as like a bio weapon, Ooh. and like grayscales a bunch of people, which would be crazy. Uh, I think. Do that you think that he'll find a cure? No. Do you think he'll just die? Eventually. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think he'll die. Like, he'll have to sacrifice himself to give her this stuff, like, to give her enough to use as, like, a bioweapon, like, yeah. a, like a dragon's breath or whatever, like the mm-hmm. green stuff that Cersei used. Hmm. Um, the, like, some sort of biological weapon use, used with the, the grayscale, I think, would be pretty gnarly. Uh, let's see. What else? So we saw... I guess we went back and forth to Sam a little bit. First, it was like yeah. him trying to get the books, and then he was just reading the books. And then he talked to the the archmaster. Yeah, and he and he gave him permission to, to read it, or did he sneak? No, the book? he said he snuck it because yeah. he stole the keys off the guy's table who was sleeping. Yeah, that's why I was getting a drink, so I couldn't remember what happened. Yeah. Um. Very very good episode though, and then obviously we have uh, Daenerys coming back getting Dragonstone mm-hmm. for the first time in, like, centuries Yep. Uh, for the Targaryens. Uh, seeing the throne again was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. The dragon throne. The thing is that the, the throne looked like the symbol on the map that Sam saw. Mm-hmm. It looked like the symbol for Dragonglass. Right. Uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I wonder if, like, maybe all the Dragonglass is underneath the throne. Because he well, said it they, was buried underground. Right. They, they also said it was underneath Dragonstone, though, like all of it. It was buried underneath the castle. Dragonstone's the whole island. I'm sorry, Dragon Glass is buried underneath the castle, is what they pinpointed. They said that it was buried underneath a castle. But the symbol was, like, out by the ocean. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So Well, well the castle comes out towards the ocean a mm-hmm. little bit. But, I, I, yeah, I think it's, like, either the... It's actually underneath the throne, or like the gate to get underground is like by the throne or whatever. And like maybe we build up to Daenerys, and so obviously Sam sending a note to John about the dragon glass yep. on Dragonstone. So he that's how him and Daenerys are going to meet up. Mm-hmm. And then maybe it's like positive for a while, and they're like, oh, we're going to fight together, whatever, whatever. And then. Like, he has to destroy her throne to get to the dragon glass, and then there's, like, animosity, and then oh. they, they fight. Yeah. Maybe. That would be crazy. Just to put a wrench in it, because, yeah. like, everybody wants them to. It's kind of predictable if Jon Snow and Daenerys hook up and take over. Like, yeah. it's still cool or whatever, but, like, to throw a wrench in it and, like, yeah. have one of them need something that the other one doesn't want them yeah, to Yeah, I don't think do. it should be so easy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely would like some sort of mix-up in there. So she lands, her dragons go home to mm-hmm. the Dragonstone, she touches the sand, pretty cool, and then she's like, let's... Uh, and they go into the war room. Should we begin? Yeah, and that's the fucking yeah. table that uh, Stannis fucked Melisandre on, yeah. and then she went and had the ghost yep. smoke baby. To kill uh, his brother. Yep, yep. Come a long way. Man. Old dusty room. <laughs> it's good music too. When she was coming up there, there was a song that they they didn't play before. That was like an original. Oh, really? Sh- original composition for her coming home. So hmm. it's pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah, it was a great first episode. Very, very good. It's gonna be hard to follow it up though. Is what I'm worried about. But they they yeah, got they it so put shit. together now. You know, I I'm feel- also curious on who euron is gonna kill to bring back to prove his loyalty to to the queen it's got to be some priceless gift so yep. yeah you assume he's going to kill somebody he's gonna bring the head back of somebody yeah so 
you've got he's he might go try to kill Daenerys or Tyrion or Tyrion yeah or so Tyrion's a, a little easier maybe uh, I I would say probably bringing Tyrion back would be it probably yeah because that's who she always feels betrays her yeah and, and then Sansa. little does she know Tyr or uh, fucking what's his name Jamie's gonna fucking do it yeah yeah. yeah. It's crazy that she still thinks um, that Sansa killed Joffrey. Right. Yeah. Super weird. Because she keeps still calling her a murdering bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and they never actually show who puts the poison in. I mean, he does take credit for it, though, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. To the eunuch on yeah. the boat right over. That's right. That's right. Because that's a big thing in the books is, like, I was never sure exactly who did it. Yeah. Um. So fuck yeah. You still think Lady Stoneheart's coming back? No. I mean that's a dream. <laughs> that's a dream scenario. Yeah. Um. I hope, but no. Let's see. That'd be crazy. She has the cure for the fucking stone disease. <laughs> She's just a zombie. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. She never. Zombie Ned comes back too. Might as well. Headless Ned. Bring them all back. Yeah. <laughs> They'll do like the. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, with all the ghost people inside the fucking cave. Sure. <laughs> we did not see Melisandre. She's not dead, though, right? Like, no, she's no, still she there. Went, she's with the other witches now. Yeah. Because she rode to... I forgot where she rode to. But she's with... Um, where is... Um, Sir Davros, where is he at? Is Davros? he with John? Who's Davros? Maybe I'm saying his name wrong. It's something Rose. He was the fisherman who the little daughter... Stands oh, Davos, daughter. Davos, Davos. Davos, yeah. yeah. Where's gotcha. he at? I don't know. Because he was with Jon Snow at that big battle. Yeah. And now we're like, where the fuck did he go? Did he I go with Melisandre? Know. So they're thing? Because they were like buddies now? Maybe. Because he like believes her that she could do shit? Because wow. she brought Jon back from the dead? Yeah. Yeah, I guess a lot of people are turning over to believing like the Lord of the Light. Mm-hmm. Or the Lord of Light, because Davos believes in it now. Mm-hmm. Fucking the blind dude, Hunter, and now Hound. Believes Hound it. believes it. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, that's it. I can't wait to see what's his name again because I know he's got to come back. The faceless man guy. You think? Yeah, he's got to come back at some point. I think a crazy thing would be like if we see Arya do something mm-hmm. in revenge, and then. Or, maybe, or if, like, she takes off a mask of somebody and then is Arya, and then Arya takes off a mask and it's him. It's, him, <laughs> it's yeah. like mask on mask on mask. Or I, I think it would be cool that if she gets in some kind of danger and he saves her again. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. His mode of transport is confusing because he would have to come over to Westeros again. Yep. Somehow. There's a theory that, uh, uh, what's the spider, what's the spider's name? Oh, God. Fuck. The bald guy, the eunuch guy. There's, oh, there's um, a the guy with the little birds. Yeah. Oh fuck, I can't remember. His there's name. a theory that he's uh, a merman. What? <laughs> and that's how he like because remember at the end yeah, of the he last got, season he he got to uh, uh, Daenerys like super quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a fan theory <laughs> a that, they, that he's a merman. That's awesome. Yeah. What was his name? We don't see Theon at all either Mm -mm. in this one. We get some uh, Brienne of Tarth, which is nice. Yeah. So Sansa was a huge bitch. She was totally questioning Jon. Yep. Uh, She had some good points, I will say. Uh, But Jon was sticking to his guns to maybe his dismay. Which was nice to see. Yeah. I think... I don't know, man. It's It's a tough call. Because she had some really good points, like, don't give it to the people who died for this person, mm-hmm. give it to the person who died for you. But he's like, like, they both had such a good point, and I don't know what I would do in that situation. Yeah, exactly. Um, definitely not tear it down like the original guy just said to do, because he's an idiot. But, yeah, she was a bitch, and then she was talking to... Uh, Littlefinger, and she was being all snarky. Mm-hmm. She was like, he's like, what, what can I do for you? Like, what, what are you missing? What can I, what do you, what do you need? And he's, she's like, fucking peace and quiet. Leave me the fucking alone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was thinking that in my head. She's like, dude, she wants you to leave you, like, leave her alone. 
I can't find. And whatever happened to? Didn't we see? Oh, his name's John's? Varys. Varys. Oh, Varys. That's yeah. right. That's right. Which is funny because one of the little little known facts is that they're like uh, Lord Varys has a full head of hair, and he shaves his head for every uh, season. Oh yeah. But yeah, he's got full hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Sansa is a blonde, and she dyes her hair red mm-hmm. every year. Yeah. Goddamn. Danny's a little brunette. Fucking Bran's got the best job. He yeah. doesn't even have to move. Yeah. He and just he's, fucking... His character is so good, though. Like, his warging and his fucking... He's the three... I want. I really want to know the culmin... Like, one of the best culminations is going to be what happens with the dragons. Is Bran going to fucking warg a dragon? You know, are we going to get some, like, dead... Like uh, walker dragons, yeah. maybe like one of them dies and then comes back as a walker That'd dragon. Be crazy. And then there's we have to fight a dragon too, and now we only have two dragons. Like there's so many fucking things that could happen. I feel like I that would be it. overkill. That'd be gnarly. Yeah, be, <laughs> white walker crazy. dragons. Yeah, <laughs> the shit's hitting the fan. <laughs> well, that you know what is, I want to see this year though. What I want to see wildling guy get it out with Brienne. Yeah. They need to just get that sexual tension out get of the way in. already. Yeah, he's got to get it in. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm tired of this awkward staring at each other that she just takes out her frustration on the little <laughs> fucking, on the little fucking little helper guy. Yeah. The little, uh, what do you call him? Uh, the Night's Watch guy? Yeah, what do they call him? No, he's her little helper. He's not part of the Night's Watch. Oh, Podrick? Podrick, yeah. yeah. He's like a... Not a clergy. What the fuck is... A clergy... Uh, there's a name for him. Like, um... He's like an assistant. The cell sword, Or no, cell sword is like a, a sword that you buy. Don't be throwing Skyrim into this episode. No, cell, <laughs> cell sword is like brawn. Like, mm-hmm. brawn is a cell sword, meaning that he'll go around and fight for whoever pays him the most. Uh, it's called a... Fuck. Because he was Tyrion's yeah. for a while. And they always called him something. Yeah. Because the handmaid was the, the maids to the queen. Yeah. And the princesses. What the fuck were the men called? It's like a... It's like a... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's a squire. He's <laughs> squire. a squire. There you go. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the guy who... It's like the little guy who follows the knight around. Yeah. It's yeah. like he's training to be a knight. Right. Yeah. Although he's terrible. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got a huge penis or two as well. So, uh, what do you guys want from episode two and the rest of the season? This has been the first episode of Got Cast Cap. Got Cap. Got Cast Cap. Uh, I got to yeah. make a thumbnail. I got to do all kinds of shit yes, tonight. Cap, yeah. I got to upload a piece of Schmidt tonight. I got to do so, so much shit. I'm gonna be up so late. Did you edit that yet? Uh, it's edited, but did you uh, remember to edit that one part out? What one part? Right, name. We'll talk about it. Everybody, yeah. we'll talk about it. Uh, <laughs> if you like what you saw, head on over to Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Facebook and <laughs> YouTube and like and subscribe and go to uh, patreon.com slash derailed uh, to support all of our shows. We're going to be here uh, every Sunday night uh, slash Monday morning, depending on how fast I am. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll get to talk about the show with you and uh, like us and comment on the shows. We have some prizes to give away. Okay. Uh at the end of the season, three people with the best comments judged by us uh, will receive one of three presents uh, and gifts. Uh, they are... Not gifts that are like on the computer. Gifts. 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 Ned Stark Funko. Oh. Legacy Collection. Uh-oh. Number six. Jamie Lannister... Funko Legacy Collection, number seven. Bum, bum, bum. And then... Brienne of Tarth. Funko Legacy Collection, number eight. And, depending on how many views these do and how this show goes, maybe we'll find some more gifts uh, and more than three people win. But for now, comment on all the episodes. Let us know what you want from the show. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, And then at the end of the series, on the uh, episode 10... uh, Got cap. We will announce the three winners. And real men hold the door. True. 
Also, Rick and Morty. Hodor! Hodor! I'm going to do a Rick and Morty uh, Reacts <laughs> podcast Jesus. as well. We're going to have like 900 podcasts. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Extra need, Life. We won't need bloodshots anymore. We won't. We'll just be Reacts. Yeah. We well, can't talk about that because we have our own podcast for that. We can't talk about that because we have That's for movie reviews. Uh, we're going to have apes. We're going to talk wait. about Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Extra Life, November 1st uh, through the 2nd, 24-hour live stream for the kids. Uh, that's it, I think. Yeah. So until next week. Um, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. <laughs>